Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today we're taking a look at Latafa Pride's Ansem Silver. All right, so Ansem Silver is from the House of Latafa. It's from their Pride Line series. It's an eau de parfum concentration and you can pick this bad boy up for about $35 at discounters. I'm gonna have a link down in the description if you decide you wanna check this one out. Presentation on this, like the other Latafa Pride's, quite nice. Nice thick cardboard box and name of the fragrance on the front there. And it does have these kind of nice glossy black kind of wave patterns going on the side. So overall box presentation, pretty nice. And it is a slide off top to reveal our fragrance sitting on the inside like a so. It does have kind of a nice backing to it, which is a nice change of pace with this floral kind of shimmery silver backing going to it. So Nice, nice box presentation for 35 bucks. You're getting your money's worth. Bottle on this is a nice kind of tall rectangular matte black finish to it. Again, with those silver floral patterns on the front there. If anyone knows what these, these florals are, comment down below. I, I'm curious to know. But overall, bottle pretty nice. Cap on this is a nice thick heavy metal and it is kind of a unique shape to it. It does have this, again, kind of like a leaf or a floral pattern going on to it and kind of an irregular shape. So. Overall presentation on this, pretty nice. And the atomizer on this bad boy, excellent atomizer, will definitely get the job done. So overall presentation on this, very well done. So if you're wondering what Latafa Pride's Ansem Silver smells like, you've come to the right place, because I'm about to tell you. Some of the notes listed in this are a bergamot, cardamom, lavender, divana, vanilla, amber, and patchouli. So let me tell you what I get from this fragrance. In the opening, you get a really nice blast of this bright citrus coming from that bergamot, a little bit of tartness coming through, and this nice, sweet, herbaceous fruitiness that comes through from that Divana. Really has a nice freshness to it, but it does have that sweet accord that's moving through and that brightness from that citrus moving through. Really kind of a, a nice, sweet, herbaceous fruitiness that has a little touch of booziness that's coming through from that Divana. As this opens up a little bit more, you do get that lavender that comes through and it adds this nice freshness that comes through. It does sit behind the fruity sweet accords that are there and there is a kiss of that cardamom spice. So there's a fresh spicy aspect to it with a little additional sweetness, but really the main player in this is that fruity sweetness, that herbaceousness that comes through from that Divana with some nice freshness, some aromatics sitting in behind from that lavender and some of that fresh spiciness. Really nice opening to this one. Just a nice balance of aromatic touches with that sweetness that's coming through, both herbaceous and kind of a fruity accord just really really a nice balance of those sweet accords as this opens up a little bit more you do get that amber moving through and it fuses really nice with that lavender so it gives it kind of an airy yet dry style of texture to it and it also has that vanilla accord coming from that vanilla and that amber mixing in adding an additional layer of sweetness to this it's not an overly sweet fragrance it is balanced off really nice with those aromatics little touch of wood and that kiss of fresh spiciness so it's not sickly sweet, but it's definitely got that sweetness, that fruity sweetness, that herbaceous sweetness, and that vanilla sweetness that works into it. And overall, really nice, elegant, flirty, sort of alluring style of scent accord that comes through. So what do I think Ansem Silver could potentially be going after when it comes to cloning a certain fragrance or being inspired by a fragrance? I think it's a mix of a couple fragrance. I definitely think the opening reminds me a lot of the Azaro Wanted by Night has that same sort of fruity sweetness that's in there. One thing I do find that this is a little bit fresher, it misses some of those spices and it doesn't have the same sort of woody cedar note that I get from the Wanted by Night, but it is a very similar level of sweetness. It has the, the kind of the trademarks of that kind of a Zaro Wanted DNA that is happening in the Ansem Silver in the initial opening, again, with that Divana oil being very forward in this. But as Ansem kind of dries down, it gets a little bit warmer, it, that amber comes through a little bit more, it gets a little bit more of that vanillic sweetness. I find it moves into the most wanted territory when you get to that dry down. It has a very similar level of sweetness. This obviously is more of like a caramel style of sweetness. This one, again, more of the vanillic sweetness with that Divana fruity sweetness that's in there. But I do find the dry down to be a little bit more similar between these two than the Wanted by Night. So I do think they're going for the Azaro Wanted series, the Wanted by Night, the Most Wanted, you are definitely going to be reminded of those two fragrances in this fragrance. But like I said, this one misses a few of those notes, doesn't have the same kind of spices, doesn't have the same kind of caramel sweetness. And I do find this one to be a little bit fresher with that lavender that comes through a little bit more than those other two fragrances. But undeniably, it does have that style of DNA. But I do find this one kind of stands on its own and does its own thing. So I'm not saying this is a one-to-one -one clone of either of those fragrances, but I do think it's a twist or a hybrid of those two fragrances and I really, really enjoy this one. So if you like that Azaro, most wanted, wanted by night style of DNA, 
you might want to check this one out. So when it comes to the performance of the Taffa Prides on some silver, I get pretty good performance off this. About seven or eight hours off of my skin, get some on my clothing and that definitely goes into the next day. This does really well on fabric I find, so if you get some on your clothing you're definitely going to push that longevity out beyond that seven, eight hour mark probably into the next day. In terms of projection, this gets good projection. This is well beyond an arm's length before it does settle back in and I find even when it does settle back in it still has a really nice scent bubble that goes wrong. So it does linger kind of in a little bit more of an intimate setting at that point but a little bit larger than I'm used to so overall projection on this is really good the scent bubble on this is very nice sillage is good so overall for performance quite pleased so when it comes to the where and when I think Latafa Prides on some silver would be most appropriate definitely this is a casual style of fragrance but this would be great for date nights as well it has that sexiness that allure that flirty side to it that comes through with that sweetness that little bit of that that freshness that's coming through with that little bit of a woody touch I do think this has that 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 allure that you would like on a date night but you can definitely wear this casually formally I don't think this is too serious of a fragrance to really kind of dress up so I would stick to kind of more of a casual date night sort of setting or an evening out setting in terms of seasons I definitely think this is like a fall spring style of fragrance has that sweetness to it has that freshness to it that it just is going to shine in those those temperatures but because it has that kind of additional freshness to it i think you can get away with this on more of a mild summer day the high heat this might become a little bit too sweet for those really hot tropical styles of days and in the winter time i think this would push through the cold fairly well maybe not optimal again has that fresh aspect to it but i definitely think you could pull it off just not on the super cold days so mild to moderate temperatures i definitely think this one will do just fine and like i said casual date night fragrance. So my overall thoughts on the Taffa Prides on some silver is I really like this fragrance. If you are into that Azaro wanted by night, most wanted style of DNA, you are going to really appreciate this. Like I said, I don't think this is a direct clone and possibly kind of a hybrid twist of those two as it kind of transitions from that opening to the dry down. It does kind of switch roles from that wanted by night to the most wanted, but it does have its own character. So it's not a one-to-one -one at any point with those two fragrances. The additional freshness coming from that lavender, even though it does sit behind that Davana sweetness, that vanillic sweetness that comes through, I do enjoy that. It does add just a little bit of kind of fresh breeziness to this fragrance, just giving it its own character. And I really enjoy that because I do enjoy the Azaro line as well. And I find this is just kind of, a, this could be a flanker easily to those fragrances. So really enjoy that one. Performance on this, I have zero complaints. This definitely has a longevity and the projection that I'm looking for in a $35, $40 fragrance. And like I said, pretty versatile across seasons. You can wear this almost all year round in mild to moderate temperatures and it's just a great casual date night fragrance. So overall for $35, $40. Super pumped that I got this into my collection. I am very happy with it. And if you're into that Azaro Wanted line style of DNA, this might be something you want to check out. That's Latafa Prides and some silver. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.